Hey guys, it is Crystal Dragonfly here with our daily video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. Um, if not, take some deep breaths. Picture those roots going under the earth. And it should help. It helps me a lot of the times. Alright guys, so the quote today is quit slacking and make shit happen. Quit slacking and make shit happen. I know I'm not on camera today because I'm going to show a little a uh, little tidbit with you on the artsy fartsy part. Um, if you are doing the year the doodle with me, the topic today is sunny side up. I am not showing mine. Um, sunny side up, and I actually because it's just blocked. I thought I'd show this before. Alright guys, this is a book that I am, journal that I'm working on. Um, I'm not going to really show you it because it's going to be a whole other video series. Um, I'm going to show you how to make this. It's called a do -si do Three books in one. Um, and then I'm going to do a giveaway in it. So keep your eyes peeled. But what I'm going to show you today is, let me see if you guys can see. Alright, if you want some fringe, I have some fringe on there. Okay, so if you want to add some fringe to your books, and it, it looks really cute on them, guys. Um, I would suggest using a couple different colors. Let me make sure I'm in focus here for you guys. <laughs> I would use a couple different colors. So I have a light purple, and I have a dark purple. Okay, this is the easiest way I have found to do this. You can use yarn, you can use leather. Um, you can use cloth. The cloth ones actually look really cute, um, but it works better on the bigger journals for that. But all right, so if you have a little one and you're wanting to do a smaller one, get you. It's easier this way. Get you your light one on a needle, your dark one on a needle. You want to try to use a heavier paper when doing this one because it um, that way you don't poke through all the way and I'm going to tell you I did a couple on my first one but I put a little masking tape piece of masking tape there and re-threaded it works great don't bother putting holes don't sit there and go through poke 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 and make your holes it's silly it's a waste of time so the way to do it is take your needle and just poke through your paper like I said you want to make sure it's a thick paper or a type of cardstock um, works good. And then tie it. Do a knot. There you go. You can make them as long and as short as you want. You see that I left this on. Okay. You want to leave that on. Otherwise, you're going to just keep. You're going to be threading and rethreading, and it's silly. So let's move to the dark one. So there's my light. Here's my dark. And you do them kind of, uh, do them like I'm doing it every other one. I mean, you don't have to. You could do one color, um, what not. Um, you wouldn't need two, two strings of needles then. Um, if you only got one needle, you could just go through, do one color, then go through and do the rest. But, so this is how you do fringe, guys. Really easy. Um, works awesome. And there you go. So it's really quick, fun, wonderful. Go fringe something up, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little artsy fartsy tip. Much happiness to you. And remember, quit slacking and make shit happen. Bye.